if you're a believer, you're yeah, tongues um, speaking Christian, you get. But you just love that tattoo. And you just want to, like you said, if you have it, you can also cover it in a way where nobody can see it. You just love it, you get. But you just want to draw it in a place where nobody can see it, you get. So that action alone, can it take you to hell? Just like something you just love to do. Now, when it can, it's not a sin, but when it can become a sin is when you already know the truth. And you now rebel. What makes it now a sin is the rebellion. The sin of rebellion. You know this tattoo is wrong. You've known. Okay, one other simple question is that. When you, okay, you love tattoo. And you've given your life to Christ. And according to the book of Romans 12 verse 1, it says, present yourself as a living sacrifice. Which means that if you're presenting yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, it means you no longer belong to yourself. You belong to God. So when you are piercing, by whose authority? Are you piercing on by whose authority are you putting those mark on the body if the holy ghost is the one leading you go ahead <laughs> yes if you say it's the holy ghost but if we look at the scripture the holy ghost will not lead you in such act based on scriptural references the holy ghost cannot lead you on that praise the lord jesus so in most cases when you see believers that say i just love that too i love god i love that too ask them who is leading them if they are the one leading them then they're not yielding to the holy ghost so it's very clear.